Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. And of course, go ahead and share it amongst your family and friends so you know we can get the word out about some awesome reviews going on, especially for women of color. But as you already guessed by the title of this video, we are reviewing the Tati Beauty volume one the textured neutrals palette this palette is stunningly beautiful i told you guys that i was going to be taking you through a uh, pretty soft glam daytime appropriate wearing look where you can wear this to your job and you won't have any problems or issues and i also told you that i was going to transition this soft glam look it's soft glam is I'm gonna do. <laughs> We're gonna transition this soft glam look into a night out with the girls getting off at five, about to go out for hookahs and drinks and appetizers or a 15 minutes home real quick, gotta go meet day for a nice night out in the town. We're gonna take this look from a soft glam to a full glam. But if you're ready to get into this palette along with my reviews, then you already know what we should go ahead and do. Let's keep watching. When you know that you can let go Then you can just breathe and let it start when you, when you know that you can just be less When no words can suffice to say what you feel inside I'll be here but you decide, yeah you decide When you wanna Fall into my arms For they really do want So guys, we're gonna go ahead and do this palette review. Of course, we're talking about the palette that came in from Tati Beauty. So pretty. And this was shipped out to me on the 9th of December. This is so sad how long I've actually had this package. See right there at the top? Um, the... 9th of December it was shipped out to me that is that is so sad that is so sad but as you guys know I've been sick and you know after getting over my sickness I did move from working one job let's go ahead and discuss the elephant in the room when where have you been <laughs> I went from working with Nestle doing like 18 years <clears throat> in corporate America and finance banking credit contracts uh forecasting and planning in the banking finance and credit industry did that for like 18 years and then i transitioned into manufacturing still in the finance department with nestle and that happened last year in july and then in december of last year i transitioned from nestle to working for general mills actually doing physical labor and different things like that on the actual production floor and we'll try to tell you, let me tell you something, From coming from a very sedentary lifestyle of just sitting down and just doing whatever, to actually physically working a 12-hour shift and actually physically, physically working, girl, boo, it took a minute for your girl body to get back right and just to get over all the aches and kinks, times my back was hurting, my knees was hurting, it was just the transition of you not doing shit to now you physically having to do stuff and your body having to readjust and utilize muscles that you know they was like what do we need these muscles for so yeah uh december i was in pain january i was in pain so i was like okay it's time for me to go ahead and you know film a video and get back to my normal youtube stuff but this is the tati beauty and this is the textured neutrals volume one the unicarton is really really pretty it's that soft matte paper feel here is the actual palette itself I can't wait for volume two and three to come out. Of course, it comes with a full great mirror so you guys are able to see yourselves. And of course, you guys already know what this palette actually looks like. This is a stunning, stunning palette. This palette is so pretty, but I haven't seen too many dark skinned women or women of color actually utilize and use the palette. So I wanna go ahead and start to use the palette and just go over this and stuff. I know the Blendiful, she launched Hot Mess. She decided to do a video after she launched it explaining exactly how to use it. That's a whole nother issue. That's a whole nother issue and other stuff. Some of the stuff she said in the video I didn't agree with. I do understand sometimes you can plan for things to happen and sometimes your plans just don't go as 
as you plan and lay them out. I totally get that, especially dealing with women health and issues. Again, I totally get that, seeing as how I just came through a hysterectomy last year, so I totally get the pain, the issues, the lack of energy, the emotional situation. I totally get all of that. But it was some other things she said in that video that I was like, come on, girl. You, you, you was on the right track and then you veered off left. I was like, oh, Jesus, please stop it. But that Blenderful is still something that I'm on the fence about getting. I'm not too sure about it. I've seen people using it. And I could definitely see how it would be a benefit to a skincare routine, especially for making your makeup just flawless. I totally get that. Still on the fence about that. But I want to go ahead and play in this actual palette first. <laughs> Haven't swatched it or did anything with it. And I really want to just go ahead and go over some of the actual shades for you guys. I'm switching Memory, the Matte Memory, the Matte Story, and the Matte Poet. Because I just really want to see how this comes off and plays on women of color. Again, I burn myself at work fooling around with the equipment. Oh, jeez. But this is the black. This is the orange in the palette. And this is that. It's, it's a burgundy red, actually. But you see how it shows up on women of color? It shows up a little deeper on our skin tone than it would actually show up on a lighter skin tone. So I just really want to get into the palette and actually just see because as you're looking at the actual palette itself and then you look at the swatches, they're definitely different. They're a little different. You can see how it's coming across a little bit darker and deeper on me. And I'm not, you know, saying anything bad about that or having any issues with that. I want to go ahead and swatch some of these metallics. I'm going to do the metallics in the same fashion. This is one of the metallics right here. This is the metallic memory. And this is the metallic story. And this is the metallic poet. So that is stunningly, that is stunningly beautiful. So. I definitely understood what she was explaining as far as the different transitions and how she decided to do different finishes in the actual color um, theory of each line of colors that she did. So I'm going to go ahead and play in these glitters because if you know me, that's pretty much, you know, what really drew me to the actual palette. So right here, we're going to go ahead and swatch the glitter memory. And this is the Glitter Story. And this is going to be the Glitter Poet. So, those, those are stunningly beautiful. So, I'm definitely about to have a little bit of fun playing in this palette with you guys today. I'm actually going to give you guys two different eye looks. Um, I have no idea. Okay, let's talk about another elephant in the room. I'm 38 years old. I have never in my life had freckles. Pay no attention to what this right here on the side of my nose. It's just where the glasses sit on the side of my nose and it just leaves a red mark. Obviously the redness around my nose right here is from my glasses. But uh, I'm 38 years old. At what point, I understand your body changes, your skin, your hair, eyesight, your teeth. You know, everything changes every seven years with your actual body. I totally get that. But I'm 38 and I'm just now starting to get freckles. I'm like, where all these little bitty freckles and stuff come from? And different molds and stuff come from. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> I'm like, I could have just been born with freckles. But that's neither here nor there. What I'm going to do as far as the two looks are concerned for you guys, I'm going to do a soft, glam, daytime wearable look. And then I'm going to show you how you can transition that exact same look into girls' night out. You get off work at 5 p.m. We finna go for hookahs, drinks, and appetizers. Or I'm finna run home real quick. I only got 15 minutes to change my clothes. Then I got to go meet base somewhere or just whatever it may be. I'm going to show you how you can go from daytime appropriate glam and take you into a transition of nighttime. Let's turn up. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the Kat Von D High voltage eye primer and I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows of course you know you already know with my color pop this is the brow pencil and this is in jet set black 
So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that on out of the way. Okay, so now that we got brows on, yeah, they look pretty dark and heavy right now because nothing else is done on my face. But of course, you know, once he finished the whole face and pull out the hair, it, it, it'll look a whole lot better. But right now, I look like Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street. Pay no mind to that. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with, hmm, I'm going to go in with Soothe, the matte Soothe right here. And I'm using a Jessa brush for this. And this is just really going to be to just go in here and just go in for a transition through the actual crease. Since we're doing a light daytime appropriate look. But before I do that, I'm going to take a Jessup 222, 222 Luxe All Over Shader Brush. And I'm going to go ahead and go into Aurora Matte. And I just want to go ahead and use this just to go ahead and set down underneath that brow ball. So that way as I start blending, I don't get too high and happy with the actual blending. Now I'm going back into that Just a Brush of Story. We're going to go ahead and push that right in here for a transition. And because of my eye shape, I'll start to go up here into the higher area and take it right into my actual brow. And I will tell you one thing I love about these shadows, they blend themselves. Like I'm literally not having to go in and do any type of blending with that actual transition there. But I do need to deepen that up a little bit, so we'll go in with another layer. Now I want to go in with a slightly smaller brush. I'll go ahead and use the Morphe E28, and I'm going to go into Ritual, the matte Ritual, and just deepen that out just a little bit. Ooh, that does deepen it out. And I'm going to go into Aurora Matte, same thing I put underneath my brows, and I'm just going to lay that right here on the inner part of my lid. Because this is a daytime wearable soft glam look. And then I'm gonna go back into the brush I had laid down, Soothe Matte with no additional product. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to blend. And just make sure this is beautifully blended. Again, this is gonna be a daytime appropriate wear look. So we're not going to be doing too much of playing into the shimmer glitters and metallics for right now. Or this sequin row. Not just yet. Not for your daytime look. And this is probably as neutral as you're ever going to see me do an outlook. Because y'all know I love color. I really wanted to go into these two rows. Y'all know me. But that also speaks to the versatility of this palette. The fact that you do have colors in there that you can go into and play with. But you also have a lot of neutrals in here to where you can carry this palette on vacation. It has a great mirror. And you have everything you need to spice up a daytime look to take it to a nighttime look. This can definitely be a wedding palette. I can definitely see this as a wedding palette for those brides who want something a little bit more natural soft glam. And then those brides who like, no, give me glitter. I want to come down this aisle like a goddamn disco ball. So, yeah, uh, I could definitely see this being a very beautiful bride palette. And the one thing that I'm loving about it is that it is effortless for me to blend. I'm not getting any patchiness or any funny thing happening with the colors as I'm trying to lay them down. They're laying down pretty well, and that's something I definitely like, and I could definitely appreciate that. And as far as eyeshadows, that's it as far as eyeshadow is concerned. I'm gonna go ahead and use my newfound favorite, favorite eyeliner at the moment. And this is the Huda Beauty, <clears throat> what is this called? The Life Liner. Oh my God, this thing is so amazing. The one that has the black pencil on one end and a liquid liner on the other one. This Huda Beauty is, it will not budge. If you have watery eyes, oily eyelids, or problems with 
your liner disappearing through the day or smudging through in the day, or if you put on black eyeliner for whatever reason, you start to get that raccoon thing that happened. Will not happen with this one at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and top line, well, tight line the upper lid. And in the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and put down a nude because again, this is daytime. Eh, it's daytime soft glam. I'm gonna go ahead and use the NYX Wonder Pencil in medium as my actual nude in my waterline. Cause I definitely wanna keep that area bright for the daytime portion of the look. And now I'm gonna go into the liquid part of the Huda Beauty pencil. Okay, so let's go ahead and give you guys a close up of the final look. Kept everything pretty matte outside of a little bit of highlighter, but here's the final look. So this is about as neutral as a soft glam look as your girl is going to do. Okay guys, so now that you've actually seen the soft glam portion of the actual video, I told you I was going to transition you into nighttime. So transitioning you into nighttime is going to be <laughs> pretty easy to actually go ahead and do this with this look. I'm going to bring you in a little closer so you can actually see a quick five-minute transition with this look. Okay, now that we're in a little bit closer, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take a Sigma Tapered Highlighter. This is the F35 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and go into Rich... No, I'm going to go ahead and go into Story and Aurora. I'm going to go ahead and go into the metallic one. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush just a little bit on the brush. It's coming off like a lot. But well, we're going to go ahead and pump up this actual highlighter. Because I believe in doing multi-purpose things for makeup. Makeup is just not one size fits all just for one purpose. Hey, what's up? Good afternoon. You on break? Yeah. Um, can you call me back? I'm just right in the middle of filming. All right, cool. Okay. So that's the way we went ahead and punched up the highlighter. And because it's such a very finely milled, smooth metallic, without it being overly metallic, you don't have to worry about it being chunks, glitters, or anything like that all over your face. So we still have the little bit of hint of purple underneath it, but you can still see it's still there and it still looks really, really pretty, especially I'm like Jaclyn Hill. I like a little bit of the little highlight right here on the actual cheek. Same thing I went ahead and did on the other side. So down the actual nose, I'm gonna take the Soothe, which is this gold right here, same brush, and put some on the tip. And I'll go ahead and go right on down the nose with that. And I'll take the excess and just go ahead and brush it over and under my actual brows. So we'll go ahead and punch it up like that. And then we're going to go ahead and take a flat shader brush. And this is going to be my Sigma Eyeshading E55. I'm just going to spray it a little bit with some primer, uh, primer water from Smashbox. And I'm going to go ahead and go into one of these shades, one of these glitters. And I'm going to go ahead and punch this look up just a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Aurora, the glitter. Just that right there on my brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my inner corners. I'm having to bring the mirror back in, so let me get that out your way. But we're just gonna go in like this. The inner corners are done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and punch up those eyes just a little bit more. And I'm gonna use the memory glitter 
right here just on the actual outside like this and then I'm flipping around to the other side of the brush and I'm gonna go in and take the story glitter like that and I'm gonna put it right here on the inside And that's all I'm gonna do just to go ahead and punch up the look. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Just to give the eye a more popping, more catching look. And now I'll go ahead and go back in with a little bit, just to add a little bit more definition to that actual eye and look, I'll go ahead and go back in and take Memory and Ritual. I'll dab into Memory just a little bit since it is a very pigmented black. Tap off the excess. And then I'll go into Ritual. And right here, all I'm doing is just going in and just deepening up this crease just a little bit. And then right above it, I'm just going to go in. No extra product on what we actually put down a ruler with on the actual lid. No extra product. I'm just going to go in above it and just blend it. Because even though we're doing a nighttime look now, I don't want those harsh lines. And that just deepens the look just a little bit. See the difference in between this eye? And this eye. So all we did was just deepen it, just punch it up and smoke it up just a little bit. So we'll go back in and do the exact same thing. So it's a way to actually do a smoky eye without having to do too much work. And there you go. All you did was just punch up the look. And you can go ahead and take the black again on the tip of the brush, tap off the access, and all we're gonna do is go in and just deepen up this outside. You see the difference in between this eye and that eye? And just to tell you guys, I did go ahead and go in with Story. That was the only thing else I had used underneath my lashes right here was Story. So I'm going to go back into Story. And just re-bring that orange in just a little bit brighter. And use that just to blend out the black just a little bit. So it's not a harsh line there. So this is your nighttime look. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this eye. And of course, since we're going out, you know, with your girls, finna go get some hookahs, finna get some, well, I know here in Atlanta, if I'm going out with my girls, we finna go get hookahs, drinks, and crab legs. But you know, wherever you are, whatever it is you do when you get off work, strip club, bar, church, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Obviously, you're not doing none of this for church, okay? Let's, let's keep it real. But you're going to go ahead and just hit on just a little bit of gloss. So now when you're at the bar and, you know, giving them googly eyes across the bar or whatever, you know, the lips. Trust me, whether you, no matter you, you know, your sexual orientation, no matter what it may be, whoever's attention or eyes you're trying to catch across the bar, just give them a little bit of eye and a little bit of lip. Girl, trust me, you, you leave them with somebody number. Now, if you married or in a committed relationship, then that's just an ego boost for you because obviously you have somebody to go home to. But this is how I would take this look using this one palette from a daytime soft glam, work appropriate, no matter what you're doing appropriate, it's switch it directly into a night. I'm finna go to the bar with my girls and hang out for happy hour. I'm finna go home real quick in 15 minutes, change clothes, do something different with my makeup really quickly, and go meet Bay for the movies, the dinner, or, you know, a nice walk in the park, or, you know, just whatever it may be. Well, it's not too hot, because you can't have all this on talking about going for a walk in the park. So, now that you guys had a chance to see this palette work two different ways with about for the different color stories used within the palette. Are you guys gonna get this now that it's actually restocked on Tati's website, which is tatibeauty.com, or are you still like, hmm, I don't know, I'm not really into glitters. You know, I'm more of a neutral girl. This is very much so a neutral palette with pops of color that you can really just amp up any look for. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you had your eye on, if you was just waiting to see, you know, how it would work on a darker skinned female, and I know what some of you guys are gonna say. Lynn, you're not dark skin. In the beauty world, I definitely am. In the beauty world, most shades, foundations, bronzers, everything stops at my complexion level. And from there, it gets 
really wacky and crazy with most brands. I mean, there are a few brands, Lancome and Juvia's Place and, you know, a couple of other brands who actually cater to women of darker skin tones. Not only your darker skin tone, but also the different undertones that come with the darker skin tones. But a lot of the big brands seem to overlook anybody who may be my complexion or slightly darker because I know for me personally, I can find it hard to find bronzers that really bronze me without going too red or too orange. I can find it hard to find foundations that actually match me. So I'm always having to get two different shades to make it work. It's rare that I can find one shade to make it work. So, you know, just trying to give you guys some options as far as would the palette show up on deeper skin tones? You know, would it be ashy? Is it something feasible? And for this one, she has some amazing pigmentation and I definitely would say yes. This is a banger. Let's go get it. But if there's anything else you guys want me to do or you guys want me to do some more looks, you know, move, using more of the berry tones in the palettes or if it's something else you were thinking about that you wanted me to jump off into with the actual palette, just leave it for me below. You guys know if you leave it for me below, I'll definitely go ahead and add it to my filming schedule. But thank you so much for coming and spending some time with me today. Of course, I definitely enjoy your interactions. Thank you so much for still being around even after my little hiatus transitioning from Nestle to General Mills. Who child. The only thing I can say good about that transition is your girl is down 25 pounds. That's the only thing I tell you good about that transition. And you know, it's just a better environment for me personally. But I will be back with more videos for you guys. I have a lot planned and already loaded. So you guys will be getting quite a few videos in the next few weeks. But thank you so much for coming and spend some time with your girl. And as always, until next time.